Hello guys and welcome back to the second episode of this course. In the last episode we set up our uh, game, like our level. We created the player state, player controller, HUD, the game state, character, everything that we need. So today we're gonna select game mode override. We're gonna put it to OG game mode real fast and just if it's on the de uh, de uh, default just put OG stuff here. Everything should be OG because we created it in the last episode and the spectacle class can stay like this. And if you got spawned in another level, in case you closed your engine and open it again, we're just gonna fix it by going to the project settings, going to the map and selecting our level. I also renamed our level to our level one because if we have multiple levels, it makes sense. So just select it like this for now and click this. And if you got uh, teleported in the other map, just go to the content maps and select our level, just like that. And we're gonna wait for it to load. Okay, now that it load, we're gonna go ahead and create new folder. We're gonna call it character and we're gonna create folder inside it and call it inputs. So now we're gonna create new inputs that came with Unreal Engine 5. So we're gonna go under right click, other the input and we're gonna call it first one EA move. This one is gonna be for our movement. Then we're gonna create input action look it's basically gonna be for our mouse to look left and right and the last one we're gonna create jump i jump now when we have those three we want to go ahead create input mapping context and we're gonna call it imc our game inputs let's call it like this and now when we open it we have this and we're gonna just add mappings this one first one is gonna be jump and we're gonna put it you can select this and press space we're gonna create a new one this one is fine by itself nothing needs to be changed next one is gonna be EA look and this one we're gonna put as mouse X, Y to the axis. Make sure you put it like this. And the next one we're gonna add is gonna be EA move. And we're gonna add multiple. We're gonna add W, A, S, and D for our movement. Now we can go ahead and close it. We can go from the look first. And what we wanna do is we want to set up triggers we will go to the EA move and we are, we are gonna set up modifiers and first modifier is gonna be on our W and it's gonna be called swizzle input axis values we're gonna add it like this and make sure it's ticked for it. yes it's correct it uh, make sure it's like um, yxz not something else and with this we are done for the a we're gonna add modifier and we're gonna call it negate this is what we need also you can make sure everything is ticked here for the s we will need to add two modifiers we will need to add swizzle input axis values and also we're gonna need to add negate to go back make sure everything is good everything good and for D we don't have to do anything and we are done here with this so we can save and close it out so now we will go for to our content we are, we are gonna open OG player character open full blueprint 
and now that it loads we can go to our viewport and we can start with our character so first thing you will notice we don't have camera so we're gonna go out go ahead and add spring arm and with spring arm being selected we are gonna add camera so after we open details we want to select spring arm and we're gonna go ahead and target arm length we are gonna put it to zero so it's inside our character because we are creating first person character after all and we can just make it like this this is fine and after that we can go to the OG player card herself and we can type in use controller rotation jaw and make sure you untick this after that we will go to the spring arm and we're gonna tick use pawn control rotation make sure it's ticked after that we want to go to the camera and select use pawn control rotation actually we have it here and make sure it's not ticked this needs to be false so when we did that we can compile and save so once we compile and save we can go to the event graph and we can start creating our character so first thing that we want to do is we want to pull out of event begin play cast to our OG player controller that we just made in the last episode and from the object we want to get controller so not get player controller just get controller and from player controller we want to get enhanced input local player subsystem and from it we want to check is wallet is wallet and take the question mark one and we put execution node into player controller so now from the enhanced input local system we want to get add mapping context and we are gonna simply connect it to his wallet because if it's not wallet we, would, we don't want to do anything and make it a little bit nicer we double click and now when we have that done we can go ahead and create our jump we will call this our movement and we're gonna put this a little bit away and now we want to we can go ahead and delete this one and we're gonna create enhanced input action jump or you can just call it oh we can actually just call it EA jump sorry and out of trigger we are just gonna jump and out of the completed we're gonna stop jumping and that's really simple as it gets we, we select all press Q to line it up and we press C to put comment and we call it jump and I like to add colors so we can make it purple and we can drag it here to save it this is a really good tip and now you have the colored comment okay so from from there we we will go ahead and create EA move and on triggered we're gonna add movement input and we're gonna get our control rotation we're gonna move it a little bit more and we're gonna get right vector and we're gonna split struct pin here and here as well we're gonna connect it like this and this is gonna be our world direction and our scale value we are just gonna go ahead okay so we have problem here it's boolean and that's simply because we didn't select it to be axis 2d and we're just gonna do it right now it's not a big problem we just click to ea look and we change value type to axis 2d vector 2d and we're gonna do same for the ie move and now it should be working perfectly we're gonna hit compile and now you can see this turn blue this is okay it can stay as boolean 
So now we are gonna split struct pin and we're gonna put pull this one into into our action value x and we're gonna create it a little bit nicer so it's so it's a little bit cleaner okay don't know what is happening today but like this and this looks nice for now and from here we're gonna add another moment input and we're gonna get control rotation here and also we're gonna get forward vector and we are also gonna split struct pins here and we're gonna connect on the Z and this is gonna be our world direction and our scale is gonna be action value Y okay my bad we will double click to make it cleaner so you know what is happening here like this so this for now should work perfectly and the last thing we need to do is we can select all of this and comment it as movement input now what we can do is we can type a uh, look and set up it so here we have action value and we're gonna split struct pin there and we're gonna add controller joe input and we're gonna add controller pitch input as well and we're gonna connect x to the joe and y to the pitch and this should be working perfectly so if we go ahead and test it in our level we forgot this one <laughs> so make sure you select our game inputs so they can read what we are doing because right now our code didn't know what to do because we didn't set up this one so it's good to see mistakes and now it works good but we can see we have problem our mouse is inverted so how are we gonna fix the invert problem so basically we have inverted mouse and we're just gonna go to the input mapping go under the IA look and we will add modifier that's called negate and under under our index we're gonna check it only for Y and then check for the X and Z. We're gonna save it. And now we have perfectly working input system. So this is it for this episode. But in the next one, we're gonna be setting up our health bar. So see you in the next episode.